Hi everyone, welcome to Picture Book Mondays with Miss Marie. Hope everyone is doing well today. And um, I am going to share with you three books that are from our poetry collection. So I hope that you are excited to see them. I'm excited to show them to you. And just to, as a reminder, these are just three out of many poetry books that we have in our nonfiction collection. So let's get started. Our first book that I'm sharing with you is Peaceful Pieces, Poems and Quilts About Peace. This book is written and also illustrated by Anna Grosnickel Hines, and it's published by Henry Holt and Company. So in this collective of poetry, you will find narratives about different types of peace and how peace appears in our lives daily and even throughout the years and in different aspects of our lives. And what's really nice is that every single poem is paired up to a different quilt that um, that is taken. So the backgrounds have nice texture and, diff and different textures to it. So it makes it very interesting, bright colors, beautiful. And the words are also that um, expressed so nicely and fulfilled by these quilts that we see. So we have making an entrance, so making an entrance into the world, where you live. These pictures are just absolutely beautiful. Feeling weightless. When you're a child, you don't, you're not weighed down by the world as much as adults are. And um, it's amazing how these pictures are and quilts are, are expressing all of the, these poems. Okay, so I hope that these poems are some discussion starters for your family and even for some classrooms. We recommend this book for school-age children because there are some, like there's one about he, um, in here about weapons. And so some of the topics can be a little bit heavy, so to speak. Um, so definitely for the older children, but take a look at this book, okay? And Anna um, Grosnickel Hines, she also has another book as well that, um, that she does a wonderful job with pairing quilts to narratives and poems. Our second book is called Imagine That, Poems of Never Was. These poems are selected, so not written by, but selected by Jack Proletsky. He wrote also The New Kid on the Block. That's a collection of poems as well. This book is illustrated by Kevin Hawks, and the illustrator is Alfred A. Knopf. So this book is much different than the previous one um, because it's a collection of poems from many different writers and they have you really expand your imagination and use your imagination because he brings monsters, machines, and different types of objects that are fun to build and fun to create, especially when you are a child. Um, so this one is my creature. I made a creature out of clay. Just what it is, is hard to say. Sometimes that happens. Its neck is thin. Its legs are fat. It's like a bear and like a bat. So that's just a little snippet of, of one of the poems that you will find in this book. So this book is great to let loose. Take a look at the illustrations because you at every time I look at this book and this collection, I notice something different on every page. So 
wonderful, wonderful book to come in and check out and take a look at uh, with poems in it. Okay, our last book that I'm sharing with you is called Dear World. It is written and illustrated by Takayo Noda and the publisher is Dial Books for Young Readers. As you can see, there are houses and stars and the sun and the moon, but then there are also houses floating because she wants you to use your imagination, All right? And in here, she shows us through bright pictures, beautiful words, a world of beauty. She has you looking at the world throughout different seasons. She has you looking at the world through the eyes of children in her poetry. And she also wants you just to take a look, take a, just a moment out of our busy lives to enjoy what is around us in nature and things that we've built up around us too because there is so much beauty all around us. When you get to the end, you're going to want more. You're going to be looking for more pictures, more poems about our nature. And this one at the end is Dear Stars. So if you ever look up in the sky at night and see all those stars, this is a great pairing of a poem to that. All right, so I hope and we hope here at the library that you come in and you take a look at more of our poetry books. We have a vast collection and uh, sometimes they're not much loved. They're not loved very much, but they are wonders, wonders, wonders. Have a wonderful week and we will see you soon. Bye.